I was having a bad week racing and you're giving me pointers. You got to pedal. You got to keep pedaling. And at the time I was like, well, if it looks so easy to you, then why don't you try it? And it was Mother's Day of 88. I did my very first race. I was 40. I borrowed your gloves. I borrowed your helmet. Yep. And I rode your bike. I was hanging on for dear life. I didn't exactly tear up the track either. And I said, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> True. But I tell you what, I had a whole new respect for what you were out there doing. And the other thing I said was, well, hey, this is something I can do. At first, I was a little embarrassed, I guess. But, you know, after doing it a little while and we were traveling together, it was great. I thought it was really cool how other mothers really looked up to you. But I was a little concerned. Why was that? People always got hurt, break an arm, collarbone, and then you ended up having a cycling accident. You had broken your neck. And then seeing you in the hospital was pretty tough, especially considering the doctor saying she might not walk again. Right. I was paralyzed from the shoulders down. But I was very determined that I was going to ride again. And seeing you get back on the track, I was a little nervous at first. But you were doing what you love to do. I mean, that was really inspiring. You know, people ask me, you continue to race? And my question to them is, well, why not? As long as I can keep the two wheels on the ground, I'm good. Mm -hmm.